Hey Wargamers, welcome back to the channel, Death From Above Wargaming. I'm Aaron. I'm Tom. And I'm Kevin. And we're here one last time on our How to Play Classic Battletech series. Uh, this is the last video and we're going to talk about two phases here. You get two for one special. We're going to talk about both the heat phase and the end phase, right? Yep. Uh, so, and so we're going to start with the heat phase. Yeah, so the heat phase is where you're going to be tracking the heat you've accumulated through the past uh, round. Right. Uh, movement, and you know, moving, you'll add up one heat point. Running will cause two heat points. Jumping is a minimum of three, plus any additional movement over three you would record as four, you know, whatever. Right. Um, and then shooting, right? All the weapons you fired in the shooting phase, you're going to add up their heat values. Um, other effects, like getting hit in an engine, will cause five heat. Yep. Um, then there's also flamers, uh, getting hit with those are different weather effects that can add heat, but essentially you're going to add up all these sources of heat, um, and then look on the heat chart, there's a heat chart on your record sheet to record what kind of status effects you're going to suffer from that. Right. Right. Yeah. And, and you can build up heat, but you can also dissipate heat too, right? That's right, yeah. And so mechs dissipate heat based on uh, the number of heat sinks that they're equipped with on their chassis, and uh, you can find all that information on the, uh, the mechs, uh, information sheet, right? right. So uh, heat sinks take up critical slots so they can be destroyed um, if you t suffer internal damage and get a critical roll, unfortunately. Yep, it happens. It happens. A lot. <laughs> Better the heat sink than something else in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And, and heat sinks can uh, also have environmental effects. So if uh, they're submerged in water, they, uh, they double their effectiveness. Like right. they and deplete the ozone? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously. And then... Um, <laughs> And then, yes. if, and then the only other one uh, that I know of is a deep snow. Right. Yeah. That's the other uh, environmental effect. Yeah. And yeah. so after you've built up your heat and then you dissipate it in that round, you you know the final the final heat that you've built up, um, you then can suffer uh, heat effects based on that, and that's all listed again on the uh, rec record sheet. Right. And um, so the different status effects start with uh, movement penalties. Mm -hmm can reduce the speed of your mech, um, and then there's shooting penalties, yeah. where it makes it, uh, increases the difficulty to hit your target, Right. and then you move into the serious uh, rolls, starting with a, a shutdown roll. Right, right, and shutdowns are particularly bad because your mech becomes completely immobile. Um, I mean, yeah, it's like a, a helpless baby. Like a helpless <laughs> baby, uh, it's a, a minus four modifier to, to get hit, so it's very easy to, to get hit. Uh, you automatically fall over, yeah, shutting down is bad news. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, so you try to avoid that uh, if you can. And then uh, after shutdown rolls, then you start getting ammo explosion rolls. Right. And uh, if you fail that, <coughs> say goodbye to your mech and that yeah. whatever insurance uh, deposit you might have made. <laughs> 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 and, then, um, and then eventually at 30 heat um, index, you have an automatic shutdown that right. you cannot avoid. And uh, after 30, there's an overflow area um, you don't stop at 30. If, if you've built up more than 30, you have to mark it down and keep track. Yep. And um, you have to dissipate that off before you they even attempt to start back up yeah, again. Yeah. yeah, exactly. You stay shut down that whole time. Yep. And so one of, two, two things to note about um, the heat effects. One is that all mechs suffer the same heat effects at the same rate. Um, right. The difference between mechs is in how many heat sinks they have. So how much heat they can uh, you know, dissipate, dissipate right, each turn. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then the second thing is that on the status effects, you'll see that there's different severity levels of the different status effects. So there's, you know, a minus one movement penalty, a minus two, a minus three, a minus four. And you always take the highest severity level of that uh, status effect right. for each of them. So the highest movement, um, you know, avoid roll, the highest shooting penalty, um, the highest shutdown avoidance, the highest ammo explosion. Yep. Okay. And that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. And so, and that's the end of the heat phase. Right. Yeah. So whatever effects netted out of that heat phase apply in the following round. Um, but before you go to the following round, there's this end phase. And this is really where you're just doing some cleanup tasks and just kind of wrapping up some loose ends. Um, if you turned your torso or you flipped your arms, everything goes back to the default position. Right. Um, you can also choose in the end phase to dump ammo. So if you're worried about an explosion or an exposed bin, you can choose now to dump those particular bins. Yeah. Although we do know they will take a full round to deplete. So you have another round into the next end phase to get potentially hit there <laughs> yeah. and you know, suffer sort of those stinks. effects. Yeah. 
Uh, the other thing is if you want to shut down, I don't know, sometimes you want to do that maybe to quickly dissipate heat and you feel like you're safe, you can do that. Take a nap. Um, or if you already are shut down, you can choose now to reboot the, the, the mech. Right. And start back up. Yep. Um, there's also consciousness checks. Um, so we talked about mech warriors getting hit in the past. Um, each time they get hit, though, you have to make consciousness checks, and they happen now in this end phase. Um, and with each hit, you can suffer up to six before you die. Um, with each successive hit, you suffer a higher target number that you have to make with your piloting skill right. roll in order to stay conscious. And if you fail that, you fall unconscious, and in the following round's end phase, you can make this now consciousness check to regain consciousness, rolling that same pilot check against right. that same target number. Yep. You know, the other thing is that, you know, when, when your mech warrior takes a hit, you know, they make that that con that initial check in that phase, um, but then the the um, conflict to wake back up it happens in the end phase, like you were saying. So that's just an important you know distinction between the two. If the pilot blacks out, does the mech fall over? Uh, it will automatically fail piloting checks. It's a great yeah, it's a great call out. So yeah, I, I believe they will automatically fail any piloting checks because the pilot is unable to effectively pilot. Your mech will hate. You. Hold down the stand button. Yeah. And then I get, you know, that, that can damage the mech warrior again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? you can kill yourself. I mean, just yeah. bad news. Don't don't fall down a hill in your mech while you're blacked out. Okay? <laughs> Try not to. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and um, yeah, I guess that's, that's it. it, right? That's yeah, it. yeah, you're pretty much done. And then at that point, you're done. And you go back to the initiative phase and you start a new round of, of combat. Right. Just start it all over again. Yeah. Like Groundhog Day. Like, right, until one mech force is completely obliterated. I, mean, I think we made it through a whole round of, of battle tech. We have, so that wraps everything up. It. So uh, we covered everything from setup, initiative, movement, shooting, how to take damage, physical attacks, heat, the end phase, we hit all the big ones. Uh, so we hope you enjoyed this series. Uh, subscribe I enjoyed to, the series. Yeah, I enjoyed doing it yeah. too. It was a lot, uh, of, fun. Was a lot of fun. Uh, so definitely subscribe to the channel. Uh, make sure you check out all the videos if you have not in this series, uh, but also we've got unboxing videos, we have battle reports, we have uh, some tutorials, and we have a lot more content coming out every day, so stay tuned for that, and thanks from all of us here at DFA Wargaming. Thank you. Take care.